Welcome to a video on learning Twine. This video is an extended example of using variables in the story format Sugarcube. It is year 80XX and humans have moved into space. And they are not the only ones. Cephalopods have come along with us. You stand in front of the bar in a small mining moon. It's late and you want to meet someone new. Maybe get lucky, maybe get a story. If nothing else, a drink, some conversation, and then a bed. Let's pause here and go look at the story map. The story map view shows a number of different connections, interconnections, many in this case, between different passages here. But let's start with the first start passage. Pulling it up, we see four variables. The first three have to do with knowledge. Notice no Sam, no 278, no Joan, and the last one has drink. These are two different use cases of using variables in a story. The first one you have to do with knowledge, that is, does the player have certain knowledge? If they do, you can react in different ways. In the course of this extended example, these are used to figure out whether or not the player knows the names of people, that is, do they know Sam, do they know 278, and do they know Joan? If, if so, instead of a description of those people, it would instead show their names. The last is a sort of simple example of showing a way to approach using inventories in Sugarcube. In this case, hash drink is set to false, and in different parts of the story is set to true. What it means is the player then has a drink, and the story we acts in different ways depending on the player has a drink or not. For example, they can't go on the dance floor if they have a drink. But someone else may react if they do have that drink and they can give that drink over and take a different path. It's a way of creating an inventory system, or a simple inventory system, of using has, in this case, has drink or not, and then reacting accordingly. But let's go on with this example. So we can enter the bar, and we see a bunch of different things going on here. The first three of what I just described as descriptions of people instead of the names of those people. In these three cases here, we're seeing their descriptions because we don't know their names. Again, this is an example, a use case of using variables in Sugarcube, using them to figure out knowledge. Does the player know something? In this case, they don't because we just set them to false in the previous passage, and so we see descriptions here instead of the names. You also see under you can visit different places and two different actions. Get a drink, the first one, and leave the bar. Let's get a drink. Now I see here where I have a drink. And so now that I've gotten the drink, I'm going to leave the bar. And you see you drink what's left of your drink and return the glass to the bar. We see a reaction here based on something the player has. This is again a use case of using variables in Sugarcube. Having something and previously to that knowing something. Two different possible use cases here. Let's go look at this passage. Closing this passage, coming over to leave the bar. We see that. We see a conditional statement here using the if macro in Sugarcube to see if we have a drink. If has drink is true, so we have a drink, we just picked it up from the bar, we drink what's left, and if not, it just shows this text. Throughout this extended example are those two use cases used over and over again. Seeing if the player knows something, the first three no Sam, no Joan, no 278, and the last three simple inventory use cases. Do we have something or not? And reacting accordingly. We saw this example when leaving the bar. There are also other examples that I mentioned going on the dance floor with a drink. We can pull it up here. We see we can't take a drink onto the dance floor. But if we don't have a drink, we can see a lot of other things. And so again, these are two different use case examples in the genre of a dating sim, or at least a simple dating sim here, of using either inventory, has something or not, true or false, as well as knowing something. True or false, the first three examples, again, knowing Sam, knowing Joan, and knowing 278. As examples of, again, knowing something or having something in Sugarcube, of using variables and passage links here to point at, different, point at and interconnect different passages. Again, if you would like to look at this extended example, you can find it in the description of this YouTube video. I've posted the file. You can go and download and import into your own uh, story usage and your story list and version of Twine. You can also look at the proof copy. You prefer to just look at this code and look through it. Um, both of those are available within the YouTube description of this video. Thanks for watching.